how can I convert my Facebook account into a Facebook page or turn on professional mode? Hey YouTube, Braham Tech here. If you are just seeing me for the first time, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to convert your existing Facebook account into a Facebook page or turn on professional mode. I've gotten a lot of questions about the differences between a Facebook page and turning on professional mode. And also, can I get monetized? Can I add an admin to a professional mode? you are going to know about all of that in this video today one of the ways you can support me aside is giving me a million dollars is by clicking on that like button sharing this video and leaving a comment below tell me what part of the world you are watching my video from in the comment section below enough with the chit chat let's get into this video facebook page and professional mode are often used interchangeably but it is worthy to note that these two terminologies serve different purposes although the both of them can help you build the public presence on the platform here is a breakdown of the key differences who it's for facebook pages are designed for businesses organizations or public figures like burner boy this is ideal if you want to completely separate your personal profile from your public persona on the other hand professional mode is made for individuals who want to build their personal brands while still keeping or maintaining their existing friend network management a facebook page can have multiple admins or editors with assigned roles for better collaboration on the other hand only you can manage your profile if you switch to professional mode you cannot assign other people to help manage it features a facebook page is completely separate from your personal profile you control what information is publicly displayed while professional mode uses your existing profile picture and name however you can manage some privacy settings for comments and moderation monetization a facebook page can be directly connected to facebook monetization tools for things like ads and branded content whereas professional mode lacks direct monetization tools yet but this may be integrated in the future. In short, a Facebook page is professional and feature-rich, ideal for businesses and public figures, while professional mode is a lighter option for personal branding within your existing social circle. Choosing the right option depends on your goals. If you need a dedicated space for your business or public persona with advanced team management and features, a Facebook page is the way to go. If you want to leverage your existing network to build a personal brand and maybe explore monetization options in the future, professional mode might be a good fit and here is how you can convert or turn on professional mode on your facebook account i'll be showing you two ways you can convert your facebook profile into professional mode the first way is by using a web browser on your computer preferably chrome browser i'm using a macbook but you can also use a windows computer or even a chromebook because this method still applies the second way is walking you through this process by using the facebook application let's get started launch your chrome browser type in www.facebook.com and strike the enter key you are going to obviously see the facebook homepage. i need you to pay attention to two things first of all this top left corner here and second of all this top right corner here this top left corner leads to your profile similarly this top right corner also leads to your profile for me i'm just going to click on the top left corner you are going to view your profile like Emmanuel Jesus. This is where it gets tricky. You are to see a three dot icon here, but by default, Facebook has this way of suggesting friends to you. So, you have to click on this arrow to hide different suggestions. Click on it once. Now that you have clicked on the arrow, you are going to see a three dot icon here. Click on this three dot icon. You are going to see a plethora of options. Let me briefly explain what all this means. When you click on viewers, you are going to see how other people are viewing your Facebook account. For example, click on viewers. This is how people would normally view your Facebook account. To exit viewers, click on exit viewers. Secondly, search. This just means that you can search for people and other activities on Facebook. Number three is profile status. This is going to show you if you have any Facebook community violations. Facebook has a set of community guidelines and you shouldn't default any of them if you don't want to have a violation or a strike. Number four is archive. If you create a post on Facebook and you want it to be a temporary post, rather than deleting it, you can just archive it and you are going to see all your archived posts when you click on this option. Number five is story archive. Your stories don't completely disappear. Let me explain. When you post a story to your Facebook like your WhatsApp status, after 24 hours, yes, people can see it, but it goes somewhere called story archive. And in this story archive, you can see a plethora of all your previous stories, even from three years ago. Number six is activity log. If you want to see all the pictures you have liked, all the posts you have commented on, 
all the videos you have shared, you can simply find them here under the activity log. Number 7 is profile and tagging settings. We all have those friends who always like tagging us. You are going to see Isaiah tagging 75 people. Isaiah, tell me why you are tagging 75 people. If you don't want people to tag you unnecessarily, you can just click on this and turn it off. Number 8 is log profile. As Instagram is the private account, log profile is to Facebook. If you don't want everybody to see your Facebook account, say for example you have a very private life or you are very self-conscious, you can lock your profile. Number 9 is turn on professional mode. That's why we are all here and I'm going to be explaining it in details very shortly. Number 10 is create another profile. You can have multiple Facebook profiles by clicking on this and just making another profile called Samson Judas. <laughs> You can also get meta verified that means you can also have a blue tick on meta by paying them monthly now how do we turn on professional mode click on turn on professional mode a lot of people keep on saying that they don't see professional mode i don't think this has anything to do with how many years your account has been active this facebook account is currently less than five months so try using a chrome browser on your desktop or computer now click on turn on professional mode a pop-up will appear telling you everything you need to know about professional mode it's high time we debunk the myth that professional mode cannot get monetized professional mode can get monetized and it's only available in countries specific regions like United States, United Kingdom, Germany and London. But recently, there has been speculation that professional mode is coming to Nigeria. You can also grow your audience. Initially, Facebook limits your friendship to just 5,000 people but when you convert your 5,000 friends into followers, more people can keep on following you. And lastly, you can see your content insights like when your followers are most active. Click on turn on. Yay! Welcome to professional mode. Explore all the ways that you can use professional mode to make the most of your experience. If you click on start exploring, you are going to learn about tools like the analytics future and monetization future. If you are looking to create content on Facebook, then click on this. But if you just want to make your profile look beautiful by having all these plenty followers, just click on done. Your browser will be refreshed. And right now you can see from 20 something friends, it now shows 33 followers. If you come back to these three dots like I taught you and you click on viewers, this is how people are going to see your page. You have 33 followers and say for example you have 4000 friends, it's going to now be 4000 followers. It's that easy and if you love this video, please give me a like, share this video and subscribe because that's one of the ways you can pay me. Launch the Facebook application. You are going to see the home page as usual. Click on your profile at the top left corner. You are going to see your profile and you are going to see a three dot icon by the right hand side. I want you to pay close attention to the friends count. I currently have 28 friends but sooner or later it's going to turn to followers. Click on the three dot icon at the right hand corner. Scroll down till you see turn on professional mode and click on it once. You are going to see everything you need to know about professional mode like getting paid for your content seeing content analytics and let more people follow you so don't fret even after turning on professional mode more people can still follow you if you create content so it's contingent on a condition click on turn on all right now it has been turned on you can now see turn off professional mode and when you go back you are going to refresh and your friends are now followers 33 followers with an addition of four followers from previously 29 friends easy peasy lemon squeezy